Yo guys, what is up? This is Scammers from Minutox coming back to you again with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to make our single guild invite tracker multi-guild. This has been requested uh, a lot and it's fairly simple to do so I am happy to oblige. Now basically, you see all of this code here? It's nice, but I want to get rid of it. Basically, database stuff, we're completely changing how it's stored, we're changing from the ID and we're changing it right into something which is basically going to be our new method I uh, talked about a few episodes ago. If you don't have it, it's on our GitHub, uh, the new manga.py file. Would recommend going and getting it because that is what you're going to need for your find by custom. Now basically, all we're going to be doing is, I, I, I just said it, but we're going to go await, self.stem, don't know what stem is, self.bot.invites.find underscore by underscore custom and then in here we just need to provide our dictionary again and rather than what we had before we're going to be storing it based on guild id uh, which is going to be member dot guild dot id and then we're also going to be using the inviters id because you know you need to store that and then we're just going to go inviter dot id and now basically same as before if data is none then we need to make data and that's just going to be our empty dictionary right here boom bam bop done except not quite because I copy this and then we're going to go ahead and we need to store the count which is going to be equal to zero and then we also need to store the invited uh, underscore users which is just going to be that empty list count black I'm hoping my code formatter would uh play nicely but that's okay it has not and then you know once we've got that data we just need to go data and then we'll go count is plus equal to one and then we also just need to go data and then invited underscore users dot app append and then what are we going to append we're just going to append who has been invited and then we just need to store that back into our, uh, our database and that's just going to go await self dot bot dot invites and then we're just going to go upsert underscore custom now this method here takes two so we take a filter dictionary and an uh, update dictionary so in here we're just going to go ahead and we're going to use the same filter dictionary as here actually because that's what our find uses and then in here we're just going to upset that data so if it doesn't exist it's going to insert it otherwise we're just going to update the one that we've gotten out of the database otherwise i think this is perfectly fine and we can go ahead and run it fingers crossed here because i probably should have tested this beforehand ah oh, please work all right so let's go ahead we need to get dave leaving the server damn look at that timely Let's go ahead, let's go never, let's go no limit, let's go generate new link, and then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and send this over to Dave, so that he can join. Now we notice he joined, it says invites 1, so if he goes ahead and leaves the server again, go ahead, join again. Now you notice invites 2. Now if I go ahead and just jump into my Discord, had to pause that there so I didn't open this up in the wrong channel like all of these things because there's a lot in here that I don't really want to you know sort of show off but you know I've just got it in here now if we go ahead and um, is Dave in here Dave is in here we just have Dave leave this discord here now if I just go ahead and I just create that next invite link we can just go ahead copy and paste that in there and then we can join it and now it's going to throw an error here because it is looking for a channel called recording. So it should have actually sent that. Why it did not send that, I am not too sure. Give me Mark a one minute to debug and uh, I will unpause the video once I have figured out why that did not send. Okay, so we're back and I've got it working. Um, for those of you that might want to take a guess at it, I'll give you like five seconds to think about what happened. But basically what happened is that 
We were running uh, Mini Dox Pie, and uh, believe it or not, I don't have Mini Box Pie in here. <laughs> I've only got my test bot. So if we put the test bot in here, you notice that it's saying, I've only got one invite. Whereas if we jump in this Discord, I've got two invites. And that is honestly the entire episode. So I hope you liked it. This was a nice, short, sharp episode showing you how to make your multi-guild invite uh, system. That was a bit of a mouthful. Basically just making your single guild multi-guild. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.